sushi. Everyone, uh, I think uh, nobody wants to be the bad guy who breaks a code bill. Uh, the Kato project makes it uh, easier to set up and manage local test environments for any Kubernetes objects. It can help you run more intensive local testers to prevent broken builds. Let's give a warm welcome to Lan. Am I audible? Good day, everyone. My name is Ram. Uh, thanks for having me. Today's topic is who has broken the build? How many of you are developers here? Okay, good to know. Managers? Okay. Uh, okay, so nobody wants to break a build, uh, but what can you as a developer do uh, to avoid being a bad guy? Uh, how can project leads, especially the managers, enable their teams to reduce their bills? Have you come across anyone like this in your team? Okay, the manager says, who has actually broken the build? Then the developer would say, uh, I don't know. I would check, probably me, who has actually broken the build. Let me check and come back, okay? Uh, a quick introduction about me. Uh, myself, Ram Mohan Rao. I'm a senior software engineer at uh, R&D Bangalore, India, JFrog India. I'm passionate about uh, open source and also love playing table tennis. A quick introduction about my company and what they do. This is quite related to my talk, okay? So let me give a quick introduction about my company. Okay, so JFrog. Uh, JFrog is founded in 2008 in Netanya, Israel. Uh, it's a public listed company. We have around uh, 1,100 employees across seven, yeah, nine, and expanding nine locations, seven countries. We have around 8,000 plus customers. Uh, most of them are Fortune uh, 100 uh, companies. And 70% of those Fortune 100 companies use our uh, products, okay? And most of these products are uh, OSS to, I mean, get to Kubernetes, primarily focused on uh, hybrid, which I mean, which can be deployed on on-prem as well as on SaaS. Uh, we have a main product called uh, Artifactory, and it's a, and it's one of the suit of uh, JFrog platform, okay? And more importantly, we contribute to the community, open source community. Okay, so I think you, everybody uses software and everything that runs on the software currently, okay? Maybe, I mean, uh, think transport, MRT for instance, everything runs on the software. And I would say every company is just is a software company. Either they produce a hardware or, okay. Let me cite an example for you. Have you ever uh, uh, tried Tesla? So, do software upgrades matter? Yes. One second, let me go back, okay. So, it says that if you use a Tesla, during the upgrade process, you will not be able to drive drive the Tesla vehicle, okay? For probably one, one, okay, one hour, 40 minutes. So, I mean, so software upgrades are important and JFrog's mission is to uh, power all the software updates in the world, okay? So, we have 
all the logos that you have are our customers, uh, software, technology, banking, engineering, space, education and everywhere. And we also have an ecosystem where, where we contribute to the open source community working with these companies exclusively. Okay? So let us get, let's get to our talk. Okay? All about software upgrades to release faster. Okay? So let me quickly give you an insight how the software development has actually evolved. So in probably in 2000, most of you have actually seen a waterfall model where you do a release probably after six months of the de design freeze or the development is done. Then you move on to an agile model where you develop and probably use a sprints mechanism to deliver software within probably weeks or months. Okay? Then we had a new concept called DevOps, which is primarily collaboration between dev and operations team to release faster. The main objective here is to do a multiple releases in a day, if possible. Okay? So, okay, let, let me quickly give you an agenda of my talk. Uh, I would like to dedicate a uh, larger time of mine into a demo and uh, I have a very bad internet, okay? So bear with me. So I might want to quickly jump through the slides and run that and then come back to the uh, actual slides, okay? So quick, so I think most of you are developers here and they see a pain in most of the development environment. So I would like to talk about the development environment there. Then uh, how many of you run uh, tests locally? Not the unit tests, end-to-end -end test. Okay, uh, it's very difficult, I would say, to set up an end-to-end -end environment locally. So I would actually try to simplify that. And we were evaluating a couple of tools for that. And we found Cuttle is more like a Kubernetes test tool that can be used for uh, testing or end-to-end -end testing locally as well. Okay? And a quick demo and a summary of uh, things. In this session, a quick history of our testing challenges and what led us to Cuttle and the benefits of the new testing approach that we have, which is easy and with minimal investment, completely open source. Okay? And how we combine Cuttle and the CI pipelines to have a streamlined testing and few broker builds. That's the agenda. Okay? So let's get, okay. let me quickly give you the ideal development environment. Okay? So it should be a single click setup using an automation, develop and test locally. Okay? Uh, the main challenge that most developers would have is they develop it on a Mac or on Windows and the production environment is primarily Linux where, you, where they deploy or a Kubernetes environment. But they don't have very similar environment with production environment. So the challenge is to have a very similar em environment as production environment. Okay? How can we achieve that? Okay? So the dev environment basically, okay, when I join a new team or a new company, the first thing that I do a couple of days is to go to a wiki page, see the development setup, copy those things, try it on my machine. It would take a couple of days at least to have my dev setup which is actually wasting our dev developer productivity over there. Okay? So using automation, which can actually solve this using some scripts, which you, which you can use to set up. Okay? So the benefits would be no manual steps, saves time, and quick reload. When I say quick reload, test it, code it, deploy it, and test it locally. Okay? Uh, and the equivalent is dev environment should be as same as production environment to reproduce the production it issues at ease. Okay? okay, let me have a quick problem statement that we have currently. So whenever I create a new feature branch or a new development, I would first uh, have a new feature branch on my local, add some code, then add some unit test, then raise a pull request. Okay? which would also involve some unit test as part of my code and a push to a git repository. Okay? That's where the end-to-end -end test would begin on a CI CD server, remote CI CD server. 
but I see a problem over there ok. Say the end to end test fail for any reason due to some environment issue or your code issue then the cycle of coming back to the development is huge. See when the test fail after running for couple of hours the, the, the developer would know that his test has actually failed then he would do a commit again and push the code again. Since this cycle of round trip continues and is there any way to actually reduce this ok. So, you can see remote end to end tests. So, you can see here developer codes then write some unit test and then raises a pull request based on those unit test. On the remote CI CD server we have this end to end test running them if something fails over there he would go back goes back to the development and then fixes them. If everything looks good then a merge request is merged to the master branch or the main branch. So, is there any solution for this? So, we were evaluating couple of tools and we found this can be done using end to end test locally ok. So, in instead of doing an end to end test we use local end to end test and commit the changes to a feature branch locally and then run those tests locally. There is no need of actually having any environment which is outside the development environment or the developer machine ok. So, the advantages over here is say that if a test fails he would locally commit and amend that commit and then run those tests locally ok. There is no need of a git repository to push ok. This way reduces the round trip and fixes the issues in and saves lot of time. So, let me quickly recap what I meant here. So, you can see here code development unit test we would bring down these end to end test locally. So, that the developer developer would run those tests locally ok. A quick introduction of curtail ok. I might want to due to the uh, time duration that I have I would quickly run those end to end test on my local I would show you the results, but let me quickly run those in the meantime give me a second you can see here. So, I would use a quick cuttle uh, cubectl cuttle test and this is my environment and I am exporting this cube config file to see my test on a console ok. Let me quickly switch back to the context. Let those tests run. For the sake of uh, time, I have run those tests. I would come back again. Okay. So the what is Cuttle? Cuttle is a Kubernetes test tool. So in talking to our teams, uh, we discovered that most of the developers don't run sufficient integration test or end-to-end -end test on their local environment because it's very difficult to set up and administer those. Uh, administer those environment in an efficient way ok due to the resources or anything. Say we have hundreds of developers in a team and they would like to all have an end to end setups. So, most companies what they do is they would have an environment and more ask them more ask the developers to create a pull request and let those tests run ok. Say that that end to end environment fails due to some environment issues the developers are blocked in merging their pull request ok. So, that is why we decided to rethink our entire testing uh, process in cutting down headaches and valuable time wasted. So, we have discovered cuttle uh, more like connecting cuttle to our CI build has actually saved us time. So, this is a clear uh, use case that we have solved in our company and we would probably want to present it to the community as well ok. So, Cuttle is a Kubernetes test tool. Uh, it is a CN, CN, CNCF uh, approved project, graduated project. It is actually part of Kudo Builder. Uh, so, Kudo Builder was primarily used for writing operators, Kubernetes operators. So, for testing those Kubernetes Kudo Builder uh, 
operators, they developed a tool called Cutil. So it is primarily for writing tests, mainly designed for testing operators, controllers. It can declaratively test any Kubernetes objects, which it, it is YAML based. So you are, if you are a Go developer, Java developer or Python developer, you do not need to worry about it. Just configure those tests in a YAML file and assert those testing conditions which would accelerate the end to end test environment in a Kubernetes because you are not writing any code over there, just configuring the setup. Okay? Then how do you quickly install Cuttle? If you are a uh, Mac user, you can do a brew tap, uh, kudo builder tap and then use uh, brew install Cuttle CLI. And if you are a Linux user, kubectl crew, crew is an install uh, manager for uh, 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 kubectl and you can install crew install. Cuttle also provides an API integration, say that you are a Go developer and would like to integrate into your Go code, you can use Go get uh, GitHub kudo builder called Cuttle. Okay? Oh, okay. So Cuttle is for any application admin who wants to actually automate any Kubernetes environment or to test his application on multiple versions of Kubernetes. Okay? And if you want to as a developer to test operator without writing Go code. Okay? Okay, so let me quickly explain. Cuttle has three configurations. One is the test suit. So you can see uh, kind. This is a CRD, custom resource definition, kind test suit and I would use a kind, start kind as false which would mean I would use any existing Kubernetes cluster. So kind is more like a uh, open source cluster on Docker desktop so you can use that as well. And I can, you can see the name specified is a test directory where uh, my test would be run and the commands used to. So you can see there is a timeout of 300 seconds say if your test does not pass within that 300 seconds, Cuttle would give you a failure. Okay? So first one is the test suit, next one is the test step where you can see kind test step, e even this is a CRD and uh, commands that you would use. For example, for my test case, uh, JFrog Artifactory, I am trying to install that and see it actually installs it. Okay? And there is an assertion step. So once you install any stateful application, I am checking whether that application has one replica, read replicas as one. So this is the assertion test that I have. So once we have a suit, test step and an assertion step as part of the package. Okay? So let me quickly give an example how this would look like, the structure would look like. You can see here, I have a demo, under that I have a test and there is an end to end test uh, folder. There are four tests as part of my, uh, two tests as part of my, uh, on my screen. You can see one is a quick install step and another is a scale step. Have you ever used Flyway? Okay, Flyway is an open source tool used for database migrations. So it has a structured way of uh, uh, executing those SQLs. Okay? Say you want to run 10 SQLs, so you would version them as 1 to 10. Okay? And Flyway would execute those uh, scripts before your application actually starts. It is more like configuring the database SQL scripts. So Cuttle similarly uses that, that one where you can actually specify 0, 0, 0, 1 as the first step and then, then an assertion on top of it. Okay? So let me quickly do get back to the demo and show you what is happening on the demo side. Okay? So I have an application. I want to actually test whether that application installs perfectly. Okay? And I'd, I would like to see three or four scenarios. Cuttle by default support parallel execution. You can run eight parallel steps actually. So if you do not define anything, it, it is assumed that Cuttle would run eight parallel steps. Okay? So for my demo, uh, let me quickly show you uh, my screen. Can you see my screen? Right. So as part of my demo, I have four tests. Okay. One is the default install test. 
there is a artifactory comes up with a split architecture as well. So, this is an another way, another test you can think of. Another is a scale test where you, you would actually increment the replicas and an upgrade test. Say if you want to install the artifactory one version and then do an upgrade. Okay. So, we have four tests and you have this uh, cuttle rip, uh, sorry, uh, cuttle test.yaml where you define the suit. So, the context that I have set is I am using a kind cluster and having a kind contest as this events and then I have actually increased the timeout okay? because the I need to download those images and run those. So, I have increased it to more time, but let us see whether the download would finish uh, within the time that we have. Okay? So, at the end of the day, you can also specify a report how you would configure these tests so, when the test run, if you would like to have these four test report as an XML, you can specify cuttle test hyphen hyphen XML or a JSON report. Okay. So, let me quickly go back to the uh, console. Hope you guys can see my screen. Okay. So, what I have done is you can see here uh, I have just run and executed a command called cuttle uh, kubectl cuttle test which would actually set up a kind, kind cluster and uh, it actually has a helm repository okay? and then running those tests. So, you can see here there are four tests that it would run which is an install default, install split, in scale and an upgrade test. Okay? And what it would do is it would create four namespaces and install these applications, four applications, four tests into a four different namespaces. Once those tests are done successfully or failure, it would actually destroy those clusters as well. So, everything happens locally. So, you do you are running these tests locally. So, you want you are actually uh, creating an application and then testing this locally. Okay? So, let me quickly use a tool called K9S. You can use uh, if you are a Mac user, brew install K9S. K9S is a graphical view of Kubernetes cluster and you can actually see. So, let me quickly execute this command and see. Okay? So, then let me switch the context to the namespace see here. So, we have one second, let me minimize this. So, you can see four uh, namespaces have been created by Cuttel and each one of them would run those tests. So, you can see uh, you can do a describe of the pod and see see the status where it is. Okay? It is trying to pull the image. Okay? So, I have four test cases that would take, okay, see the, the time has been 10 minutes, but it, we would wait for few more minutes to see the install would happen. Otherwise, what Cuttle will do is, if the timeout is set, then if the test do not run or failed or unable to run within that time span, it would actually declare those tests as failure. Say that the images does not exist or some issue with that. That way, we are pretty sure that our cuttle would actually run for only that specific time. Okay? Let those tests run. Okay? You can see in the logs how those tests would be actually. So, when it is trying to install, so this is an upgrade test. So, it is running in Helm upgrade install artifactory uh, using this namespace. So, cuttle would auto generate a namespace and run those tests. And these are the parameters that I would pass as part of the Helm command to set specific version which are actually not needed. Okay? So, let me quickly switch back the context and go back to the uh, documentation around how to use this. Okay? So, as I said this project is CNCF approved project as part of the Kudo Builder. So, you can see a GitHub page uh, called Kudo Builder under which a project called Cutil which is an active, we have an active development, so active development and JFrog does not uh, uh, work on this project by the way and we actually use this 
uh, for doing our end to end test uh, locally as well as in our CI environments. Okay? So, uh, uh, every quarter there might be 3 to 4 releases of Cutl, so which is act, uh, which is a which has an active development status as well and there is a detailed documentation called cuttle.dev where you can see and it has few example how do you how can you use a CLI uh, usage as well as if you want to integrate with an API uh, and there are uh, quick test environment setting up scripts and tricks and other you can probably refer to this. So let me go back to the my slides and I would return back to the demo once uh, we have those images downloaded. Okay. Sorry, bear for me, bear with me for. Okay, so we have. Uh, okay, so as I've said, uh, Cuttle documentation. Uh, you can refer Cuttle Dev docs, and there is a GitHub reference as well. Uh, and which has an active uh, Slack channel as well in Kubernetes Slack called Kudo and I have actually referred K9s. You can actually refer to that GitHub page where you can download and see the Kubernetes environment. A quick summary, uh, Cuttle is an open source tool which can be used for local end-to-end -end testing which would mean if a test broke you can actually fix them as a developer which would mean few broken builds we have seen uh, quite a large improvement in our test with this tool which would mean release faster okay which would mean happy developers and eventually customers as well our goal is quietly aligned with what what we do using cuttle as well okay to power the software upgrades around the world okay probably you would use an iphone and an android uh, Google, Apple uses JFrog's uh, products internally to the power updates to the edge devices. Okay, so whatever the you push and update on your iPhone or an Android, backend is supported by JFrog. Okay. Uh, any questions? I would switch back to the demo and see where where it is. In the meantime, I'm happy to take few questions if you have. Okay, so let me switch back. So let me go back to the demo and see where it is. Still downloading. Sorry, the Wi Fi okay. is uh, very, b I mean, I'm <laughs> connected via my mobile phone in internet. Okay. Uh, any but question? But a report would look like this, just for a summary, how it would look like. Uh -uh. Hi, uh, is it available to inquire some question? Sorry, could you? Uh, uh, may I inquire two question? Sure, go sure, ahead. Okay. Uh, because from my past experience, I uh, uh, used the Cucumber tool and the TypeScript to describe the uh, test scenario. Sorry, uh, not audible. Could you bring louder? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no. Now it's better. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, in my past experience, we used the Cucumber tool and to, and TypeScript to describe the uh, uh, test scenario to be the end-to-end -end test. So how could we uh, combine this tool to this uh, code tool so we can use API uh, integration this way or we don't need, need to, this is enough. Okay, so Cuttle can be used for any environment, not only for Kubernetes as well say that you would like to run those tests. Say for example, you already have a testing infrastructure. What you can do is execute those tests from a test step, okay? And Cuttle would do an assertion and do the assertion in using a command. Say for example, you are doing an API testing, okay? Or the endpoint testing of an API, version two or anything, the response. Say you would use a curl command or something to do a test and you are expecting a response. The response can be added as part of the assertion 
and verify whether it works. So you can actually integrate with your existing setup using some shell scripts. And use this uh, Kotor to help help us to deploy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you please well combine together and help us to deploy um the Kubernetes platform like. Yeah, primarily this is used for Kubernetes, but it can be used anywhere. Because at the end of the day, what we are trying to do is Helm install. Helm install is on Kubernetes. If you would like to deploy it on a VM, you can still use that. Okay. I mean, replace that step. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, second question. Sure. Uh, because I uh, I have uh is in touch with the Jeffra be before, and I know that uh it, we use the Jeffra to do the image scanning and. Uh, I remember that his, his architecture is uh, consists of uh, artifactory, X-ray, and uh, Postgres DB, and uh, the build server. So right now we use this tool. Is it send the architecture, or and do we need to uh, uh, connect to the uh, Tecton or the Jenkins this uh, pipeline tool, or uh, we have the local build server is enough? probably you've used artifactory and x-ray. Those are for scanning. I say that you would like to integrate. So you can actually hook up this with uh, Jenkins and run those tests. Once those tests are successful, you can promote those artifacts to artifactory and then to x-ray for scan. OK, thank you. Thanks. Uh, due to time reason, so uh, one more question. <laughs> Uh, hello, my Hi. question is not really related to the topic, but I want to ask uh, which tool do you use for transfer the speech into the text on the top? Is, is it a model or application? Okay. Yeah. No, this, okay. okay, this is item, terminal item, okay? On top of it, I've used canines <laughs> to view this. Canines is the graphical view, and the terminal is item. Okay, let me quickly go back and show you. <laughs> Actually, the question is, I, I miss you, you, you mentioned the case slide. Uh, I, I will tell you later, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. So you can see the logs over here. <laughs> uh, it has created and successfully downloaded all those images. Post that, you can see all those namespaces have been deleted. Okay? So it's just terminating those with a timeout kind of a thing. So post that when you look at the logs or you, you can, as I said, there would be a report that you can probably see, which would actually give you, give me a second. So a report would look like this. Say you have run two tests uh, with end-to-end -end test, one is install or scale. This is the previous example, okay? And uh, it would give you a report. Similarly, you can have an, uh, JSON report where you can integrate and see it on your pipeline saying that how many tests have passed or failed. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, that's all I have. Thanks everyone for joining my talk. Thanks Ran for great sharing. <laughs> okay. Where are you? Wait. Uh, okay uh, okay uh, 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 不是不是 oh, okay, okay.